One of the important landmarks of the state of Mizoram is the Mizoram University, the apex institution of learning in the academic world. Established in the year 2000 by the central government, the management of the university is shared between the central government and the state government. It also has 25% role to play in looking after it. While majority of the workers in the university are Mizos, the teaching staff comprises mainly of intellectuals from other states of India. It is a young university with plenty of work to be done in all areas of its development. Among this host of concerns, one big challenge is to give quality education to those that come here to study. During this year, 2000 year, the university is in the process of recruiting staff to work here. When the criteria are set in use, the locals do not stand much chance of getting the teaching post up for grabs. As interviews are being called and many Mizo still get left out, there arises a major concern as to the ethnicity of those that would potentially get the appointment order. This leads to the Mizo Students' Union, MSU as they are commonly known, and some other NGOs putting a heavy pressure on the university authorities in order that some locals also get a chance to work here. These applicants have been gauged according to their educational qualifications and grades based on their academic performance in the past. Mostly these applicants are from other parts of India, but among them there are also few Mizos. So grave is the situation that the Mizo Students' Union demanded the resignation of two of the leading figures in the university, the Vice Chancellor and the Registrar, while vowing to press harder to get their want done. This issue has been one of the leading talking points in the state for quite a while now, with the local media and newspapers continuously airing opinions about it. It even engenders series of accusations in the state government and mudslinging among political parties. What we want in this Mizoram University is that we require good professors and good academicians uh, who could be beneficiaries for the students who are the future of uh, the country. Uh, regarding this issue, we have to think about the students who will benefit from this university. If we do not allow uh, non museums to work here, then we are likely to have less intercultural contact, as well as it will be impossible to import intellectual knowledge from outside.